Hello and welcome to Point to Play Games, where today we're going to start playing some Tangle Tower. Tangle Tower is a point and click game made by the same makers who made Detective Grimoire, which just so happens to be another game we played on this channel. We'll have it pop out maybe in the sidebar or something like that, just for you to take a look at that if you want to. But other than that, the only thing we can get, uh, well, do is start playing the game. So let's create a new file and let's start at the beginning. Okay, so I won't talk about the the previous game, or I guess it's not really previous, I think they're two different ones, but I won't talk about Detective Grimoire too much, because, but the art style is definitely a little different, uh, it's definitely a little updated, but um, I guess the first thing we're going to have to do is just start clicking around. It's a bird bath. Is that just rainwater? The birds seem to like it. They're even singing a little tune. Do, 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 do. Please don't do that. <laughs> That's the little boat we used to cross the lake. It's the only way on or off the island. What a comforting thought. I tied the boat up to the mooring post, so it'll stay put for now. Probably. Loving the confidence. I mean, apparently, already Detective Grimoire seems to be hitting on this lady right here uh, but first things first let's talk to her you ready Sally Grimoire I've been standing here for seven and a half minutes just checking you have the map uh, yeah but it's basically blank did you read the case file what do you think I'm not sure yet did you read it yeah, I'll read it on the way to the crime scene. I do like how they sort of introduced um, the elements uh, through that conversation, like the UI elements. It's kind of fun. Uh, so, let's read this case file. So, we have the murder victim by the name of Fer uh, Freya Fellow, who's 19, and died while painting a portrait of Flora Fellow, who's 58. Uh, it occurred in Flora's tower, and Flora was present as she was posing for the portrait. Freya Fellow was found lying on her back with a single stab wound on her chest. No weapon was found at the scene, but the subject of Freya's unfinished painting is holding a knife. That's interesting. The red color on the tip of the knife is not paint. It was discovered to be blood. Okay. So, alright, so they've they've sort of changed it up a little bit, and this is probably the last I'll talk about it. I won't try and draw comparisons too much, especially if you haven't seen it, and this is just what you're going to watch. Um, but it definitely is a little different in the way the UI works and things like that. It's very similar, but it, it definitely looks and feels a little different. So, the Tangle Tower. So this is a small painting on a scrap of paper. A few notes have been written on the back. Nowadays it goes by Tangle Tower, but it's actually a pair of towers connected by a mansion at the base. It is surrounded by a circular lake. The water is an unusual mix of colors. The lake is enclosed by sheer pale cliffs. They're too steep and smooth to climb. Tangle Tower is currently home to both the Fellow family and the Pointer family. Interesting, and then we have Freya here. And we know nothing about Freya. Freya is our murder victim. Uh, we do have some notes in regards to her, but they seem to be the exact same as what we were looking at um, in the case file. And how was Freya killed is, I guess, our, our question in regards to her. Okay, so now we can also look at the map. Ooh, this is a very, very nice little pretty looking map thing here. That must be where we can get hints, and it's telling us to click here to go to a new location. So now we're in the garden. So let's start clicking around and check things out. Like, it's super important in these games to just basically click on literally everything, because eventually you'll find something that may lead to a clue or may lead to something interesting or important, so let's just start clicking around. Spooky. What do you think it's for? I think it's to scare away detectives. Is it working? No. <laughs> it's full of the same weird water that was in the lake. Any fish in there? 
Not a single one. Although there is something in there. It's a cassette tape. Or it used to be. Nice. Damaged tape. The cassette tape has been damaged by water. The ink on the label is blurred and illegible. That's good, though. That's a new little thing. Oh, this is different. So we can look closer at it. Maybe at some point we'll be able to see something interesting. Or something... Um, what am I saying? Something interesting. Something different. Something that'll... You know, maybe something where we have to look at it more closely. It's a statue of some hideous, scaly, bipedal fish monster. Playing a harp. Playing a harp. Hang on a second. I guess let's look at it closer. Oh, this, this is... isn't just a regular statue, is it? Something tells me we're not going to solve this just yet. It doesn't seem like this puzzle can be solved yet. But interesting that let's we found a puzzle. come back later. It must do something. You'd hope so, wouldn't you? Harp statue. An old withered statue of an amphibious creature holding a large harp. Symbols are engraved on each of the four of the harp's four column segments. So that's good. We have another little thing that we can look at and keep in mind for later. It's a stone carving. Wonder how it got cracked. I think it's supposed to look like that. It's an egg. What animal is that? Hawk. Bear lizard. Right, of course. Of course. A hawk bear lizard. Makes perfect sense, doesn't it? It's a bandstand. Bit small for a bandstand. It's a one man bandstand. This is some garden. Do the plants all look a little strange to you? They do. This whole place is a very trippy vibe. It's quiet. Mm hmm. You're supposed to say, too quiet? It's not. It's an appropriate amount of quiet. <laughs> this is some garden. Do the plants okay. all look a little small? That must be Tango Tower. Alright, so it kind of looks like we've looked through here, so let's keep ourselves moving right along. Okay... Oh. What? Oh. There's an O on the floor. Oh, yeah. Tangle. Twer. Twer. Hmm. <laughs> Looks like someone tried to chop it down, but then gave up. Can you blame them? Yeah, there's a heart engraved in the tree. I didn't know people actually did that. PPFF. Alright, so I have I have a small prediction. This feels very Romeo and Juliet already. Um, so I'm thinking that that might be it. But let's keep looking around. Is that an envelope? It's been opened, but the letter's still in there. Let's read it. Isn't that an invasion of someone's privacy? No, definitely. Hmm. <laughs> The uh, this was found in the main entrance, and the envelope has been ripped open. There is a single piece of paper inside. The combination is drawn on the other sheet. Once you have it memorized, destroy it. I do not agree with your reasons. You will not find it down there. Sorry. Oops. I said oops. It didn't look different for you. I accidentally clicked out of the window. <laughs> so it's on the other side. Oh, the other sheet. Okay, they must have destroyed the other sheet. Interesting. Do you think he'll start to move if we try to go inside? No. I think he'll just silently judge us. <laughs> Little bird feeders. How do you know they're for birds? That is fair. Should we ring the doorbell? Why would we not? It's a little melody. Interesting. Well, we rang the doorbell and no one's come to the door, so... Don't think it's locked. Oh, that means we can just walk straight in, right? I'm pretty sure that's the rule, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so on to the next thing. So we can keep going around or we can go inside. I actually like the idea of going around first. Let's head to the crime scene first. It's at the top of the West Tower, I think. 
Okay, fine, I guess I don't have a choice, and we do have to go directly in. Man, railroad us here. Game, thanks. A little weird how, to this point, absolutely no one has come here. They have to know the detectives are coming, and yet, no one. Now it's a big glass tube filled with water. There are weeds in there, and sand. It's an aquarium? Could be, except there's nothing living in it anymore. Very strange. What is that? I think it's a family tree. Time to look closer. Interesting. Lady fellow. Do these people not have first names? Lord Remington. He sounds important. Buck Brackley. What a name. Do you think he still lives here? Selena Stonetop. No family line. Apparently, she just appeared out of nowhere. Okay. Freya Fellow. The murder victim. She's barely related to the main family at all. So that's very interesting. So it seems like there's... It's just, again, just obviously the way they're doing it. I wonder if PP is Percival Pointer and FF is Freya Fellow. But it's interesting how they all have... It feels like there's probably another, um, maybe some sort of puzzle in here, uh, but we just don't really know what we're looking for yet. However, it is interesting how we do have the three family trees, and they all sort of branch off. They are all, like, they're, like, either second cousins or direct cousins, things like that, so it's, it's quite interesting. We'll have to come back to that. This one has a big P. That's p probably important. How very p perceptive of you. <laughs> it's not locked. A door. Oh, what's behind it? A room. Very helpful. Astute, really. We should try and be finished before it gets dark. No pressure. No kidding. Stairs. A big letter F. Of course. Who doesn't hang a giant banner of their initial in the lobby of their mansion? I mean, I can't imagine who wouldn't. Finally, we get to investigate a murder in a spooky mansion. It's not that spooky, really. Don't ruin this. <laughs> Finally, it's we don't okay, ruin so this. Okay, so that's the same. Finally, we it's get to don't ruin this. Okay. Um, I think that's sort of all we could have looked at. Oops, wrong one. So, let's keep moving. We have to go to the left tower. Oh, we can drag. All right, there's gonna be quite a few places to look here. Uh, but we first must, of course, do the original thing, which is head to the crime scene. Oh, look, and it's her mother, mo not her mother, it's something else. I'd have to look to see. We'd have to look at the family uh, uh, thing again. But first let's click around, then we'll talk to her. Let's take a look at that painting first. I guess we're looking at the painting first. There it is. The unfinished portrait of Flora Fellow. So, what? Freya was killed halfway through painting it? Looks that way. Freya was unable to finish the painting as she died sometime during the process. Flora appears to be wielding a knife. The red substance on the tip was discovered to be blood. It's interesting. Very strange. I wonder if all of Freya's paintings are this creepy. Maybe it's just because she never got to finish it. There's something wrong with the crime scene. And something really weird about the murder weapon. We didn't find a murder weapon. Alright, it's time to start thinking. Okay. So. I guess... Assuming 
This has to be the answer, right? This would seem like the most logical conclusion. Flora's portrait is holding a knife tipped with blood because Freya put it there. Almost. Maybe just change one thing. Okay. Uh, first off, the idea of because Freya was going to eat it. It must be this Laura's then. portrait is holding a knife tipped with blood, but it was removed from the scene. Almost. Maybe just change one thing. Alright, so it has to be the same thing, right? Or maybe... Knife with... Blood. I guess because it stabbed Freya. Laura's portrait is holding a knife tipped with blood because it stabbed Freya. What? Weird, huh? You think Freya was stabbed by a painting. Not by the woman from the painting, but by the painting itself. Mm-hmm. Freya was standing right up by the canvas when she was killed. There's blood on the knife. It's the murder weapon. Right, but it's not actually a knife. It can't stab see any other knives around here case closed the case is not closed and even if you were right where does that leave us a painting can't be a murder suspect <laughs> for me that was really loud oh that was so loud for me Sorry about that, that made me jump. Alright, let's 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 keep going into the chapter, an unfinished painting. Okay, so we're still in the tower, so now I should be able to really look at things. Is that an egg? An egg with bird feet. It's also covered in gemstones. What a completely ordinary object. Now we gotta look closer. I think it's a container for something. Those gems look like they come off. Okay, swap position, rotate the egg to see the clue on the back. Oh goodness, all right. So here's the first question. Okay, so this... So it looks like it faces slightly different direction, right? These match are okay, so let's. All right, so let's start with the e the one that we can see right from the start, right? So it's this one. This one has a purple one, which goes into one of the yellow ones, right? Let's look for this long one. So I believe that that matches with this. So that has a purple one on this side, going into a blue one on this side. Next, let's look for here, which is sort of like this short looking one, which has to be this. This has a red one at the top, going into a green one. All right, so this other big one has a blue one on the bottom and has a red one on the top. And we... Okay, so let's take stock of what's done. This is done, this is done, this is done. This is done. So that means we have the small ones. So this one just so happens to be correct, so that means this one's done. So we have a green that goes into, so that's done, so that means the only thing left would be
Are all these correct? I know it keeps telling me to get a clue. But are all these? Maybe. Yeah. That's correct. That one loops around. Oh, oh, that meant that we could unlock it. I misunderstood. <laughs> Did it unlock? What's in there? Nothing. Nothing? Well, I'm not leaving without a clue. An empty egg is a clue, right? Once unlocked, the egg can be opened. It's currently empty. The lining of the egg is a soft, velvet-like material. The egg is supported by a stand made of brass. It rests on three strange feet with pointed claws. There has to have been something in there, right? Like, that's what would make the most sense. Uh, but, with that, we'll have to finish processing this beautiful crime scene and, keep, and talk to Flora herself. I think it's Flora, right? Yeah, talk to Flora herself next time. So, thank you very much for joining me here for some Tangle Tower, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Goodbye.